So we're here in the Liverpool section of the retrospective and this is the first time these 20 photographs have been displayed in public before. When I spoke with Paul and Mary McCartney about what we could do for the museum, we thought let's uncover some of Linda's hidden gems in the archive of images she took in the city and also in the surrounding area, particularly in the World Peninsula. What's really nice in the Liverpool section is you see all the different kind of areas of Linda's work coming together. So for example, these two photographs were taken from car windows. One reason being that she was constantly on the road with her family, with the band Wings, and also she didn't have the same kind of freedom um, as other street photographers walking down the street unrecognized. So she could kind of do the same thing from the car window. And it was a great skill to get things, you know, in the frame, in focus from a moving vehicle. And what's really nice is for example, in these two photographs, is Linda's kind of brought a fresh angle to iconic buildings in Liverpool that have been photographed thousands of times before, but here she's kept the frame of the car window in to almost get this like black abstract kind of painterly brushstroke through the image. But then also in the Liverpool section, we have um, photographs of Paul's family on Christmas Day, um, singing, laughing, and the very intimate, warm photographs, I really think, bring in the kind of sense of scouse spirit. We have this portrait of Paul and their daughter Heather walking along a pier in the world and they're kind of walking off into infinity. They've got this huge grey sky as the backdrop. We have a contact sheet in the exhibition that we've never shown in public before and you can see that same frame on the contact sheet and how Linda hasn't cropped it to get the desired effect. She took the photograph there and then how she wanted to to have it and she circled it with her with her handwriting and a China graph pencil and it's really magical to then see it on the wall just as she saw it back in 1968.